So we do a ton of exhaust videos for the 2018 through 2019 Mustang and GT, but one system we get asked for more than anything else lately is the Borla Attack. And today we're going to install it on my 2018 Mustang GT. Now the Attack is the loudest system Borla offers for the 18 to 19 Mustang GT, and it stands for Acoustically Tuned Applied Kinetics, which is a fancy way of basically saying it is really, really loud, but keeps a nice clean tone across the RPM band. Now the rest of the system is typical Borla, 304 stainless steel, three inch piping, Mandrel bends, and in this case, we have a set of killer carbon fiber tips. Now speaking of the carbon fiber tips, these things are works of art. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now this is available with a polished tip. The carbon fiber is going to run you a few hundred dollars more, but in my opinion, they are absolutely worth it. Now this system here is for a car with a passive system. There is an active system available as well. For this installation, they lift or a jack and jack stands, 3 8 ratchet, 13 millimeter deep socket, and a 15 millimeter deep socket. The removal of the 2018 exhaust is once again a two-man job, but very easy to do. You're going to loosen the clamps up here, remove these two bolts for these rear brackets, pull these hangers off, and you can slide the whole thing off as one piece. Alright, we're going to start with these adapters and connect your factory mid pipes to the X pipe provided by Borla. Install both of these and then grab your X-pipe. Make sure you put the clamps on the X-pipe and the orientation is so you can actually get to them and tighten them when it's in place. Once they're in place, just snug them up. You don't want them tight yet because we have to adjust later, but make them tight enough to hold the pipe to install the rest of the system. Now we're working on the tailpipe. One of the unique things with the Attack is the section in here. Now this is the same kind of style they use on the RS and it works really well. On the S-Type, it's a resonator. On here, they have this almost like a header collector design, but again, it worked on the RS and I'm sure it's gonna work on the Attack as well. And again with the clamp, just tighten it up a little bit for now to hold it in place. Okay, now we're gonna put the muffler through the hanger. And then connect to the tailpipe. And snug down the clamp. All right, so everything's adjusted, tighten it down and your insulation's finished. We know you guys have been waiting for this one. This is the Borla Attack with the carbon fiber tips for the 18 through 19 Mustang GT. Yep, kind of what we expected with the Attack. attack was one I was waiting for myself and I know a lot of you guys wore too as well I mean it's no secret like I said that I like the S type I think it's always a good mix of loud when you want it to be but the one thing I've always noticed with the 18s is the sound ending in the cabin in my opinion is definitely better than 15 through 17 I haven't been able to verify that they've changed it but it definitely sounds it 
because every system that I've heard, even if I heard it on a 15 through 17, sounded a little different, maybe not quite as loud on the 18. So while I love the S-Type, I love the way it sounds, and when I was outside the car, it sounds great. It's not as loud in the interior as I felt at my 15 through 17 cars, my 15 ones, I should say. So I was kind of excited about putting the attack on their car, and you know, obviously it fits great, and the tips are just gorgeous, one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. But driving it, it's definitely not crazy loud inside the car. I mean, I can hear it's definitely louder than the S-Type is. Probably due to the design where you have the resonator with the S and that four pipe set up with this. Kind of if I have to put a label on it, it sort of reminds me of a mix between the Corsa Extreme and the S-Type, kind of right between the two of those. It's definitely louder than the S-Type, not as high-pitched as the Extreme, but higher than the S. And again, highway, here we are, 70 miles an hour, 1900 RPM, no drone, no nothing, nice and quiet like you'd expect a Borla to be. Then you downshift, and it gets loud in a hurry. Yeah, keep the RPMs down. It's perfectly livable. It's not obnoxious in the cabin at all. Like you said on the highway, you just saw there's no drone with it. I mean, it's it kind of fits the bill as the other systems do, where if you want to be loud, you can be loud, but you don't have to be. But when you want to get loud, it's loud. And like I said, I can tell you, it is loud inside the car. I can Knowing what I know from the S-Type and sound difference, I'm sure this thing's really, really loud outside. But this will be tempting. I originally planned on doing this installation with the Attack, and I figured I'd probably end up going back to the S-Type, but I'm not so sure. I actually might leave this on for a while. Now, by now, everyone probably knows I'm a fan of the Borla S-Type, and the attack was exactly what I expected. It has that S-Type tone, but a lot rowdier, a lot louder, more crackles, more pops. I mean, this is definitely a new contender for the loudest exhaust for the 18 through 19, but the Borla makes it sound good. High quality construction, it fits great as well. Overall installation, about an hour and a half. We'll be back on the road in no time.